We know reading is good for us, that it improves literacy levels and opens doors. But with more time spent in organized activities, doing homework or online, young people are finding less time for independent reading. But research has shown that reading for pleasure plays a huge role in our personal and emotional development. Now, more than ever, it's important to read. Reading for pleasure is the reading we do for enjoyment in our own time. Whether it's a novel, a newspaper or even a blog, reading for pleasure is something we all can do. Studies show that people who read for pleasure are happier and more successful. In children and young people, reading for pleasure builds self-esteem, broadens horizons and increases general knowledge and relaxation. It also develops children's imagination. Children who read for pleasure perform better in school, not just in literacy, but in maths, spelling and vocabulary, as well as writing and speaking. In fact, reading for pleasure has been shown to improve career prospects in ways that other social leisure activities don't. But reading for pleasure isn't just about good books. It's anything we choose to read, from poems to stories, magazines to comics, fiction to factual. To help nurture a love of reading for pleasure, children need someone who can help them navigate the maze of reading choices. Who better to do this than the school librarian? With their expert knowledge, librarians can guide children in choosing what to read. And children who make the most of libraries make the most of reading. Supporting a child's love of reading is one of the best things we can do. So why not visit your school library today and ask your librarian for some new books or reading materials for a journey that will inspire a lifelong love of reading.